So, all right, today, guys, what we're going to be doing is trying to get uh, our, our hunting clothes washed. We've already got them gathered up, as you can see here in front of us. Um, the boys has went through their stuff. I've went through all of mine. Uh, this is last year's stuff. Um, what I do is I have a, a, a container here, just an old plastic Rubbermaid container. You can buy at Walmart. It's like five, six bucks, lid and all. That's what I put my hunting clothes in. I keep it in my truck. Uh, during hunting season and I put my hunting clothes in there. I've got scent wafers in there to, to uh, help with scent control. But today what we're going to talk about is washing these clothes. Now, a few years ago, um, I had an encounter. Uh, I was had been doing my scent control and uh, my scent control I knew was, was really good this particular day. I went over on a neighbor's property and um, I had uh, the wind in my face and I was sitting on a stump. I had a, a beside where an old tree had blowed over and I had a really good solid backdrop so I wouldn't silhouette it. And I was sitting overlooking this trail. And uh, as I sat here on this trail, it was really dry. I could hear uh, animals coming to my left. And uh, just, uh, I, I went ahead and got my gun up and got ready so there would be no movement. And um, there was a doe, she stepped out from behind a, uh, an oak tree and the second she stepped out behind that oak tree, she just immediately just turned that head, just boom, right spot on, looked right straight at me. And uh, as soon as she did, she blowed and she turned and run off and I could hear just uh, several behind her. And I knew at that moment that she didn't smell me because I wasn't silhouetted, my scent control, everything was good, but she had seen me. And so I wasn't really sure what she had seen, how she had seen me. And so I came home that day, just, just bound and determined, I'm gonna figure this out. So what I did was um, got on the internet and I began to do research uh, on deer eyesight and what deer see. Uh, and it turns out that deer see in shades of, of red and orange. Uh, that's the shades that they see, but there's also one other color that they see and that's ultraviolet. Um, so deer see in shades of red, orange, and ultraviolet. Interestingly enough, to brighten your clothes, when you buy clothes from Walmart, Fred's, wherever the case may be, when you buy clothes, uh, these companies will put UV brighteners in their clothes. And what that does is that makes the particular clothes look, it makes it pop. It makes the pattern on it look uh, uh, much not neater and it makes it pop. Um, and a lot of your uh, uh, clothes washing detergents have what's called UV brightener in them. So they inject your clothes with ultraviolet brighteners. And to a deer, this looks uh, uh, like just this big blue blob. So picture this, deer walking along through the woods and seeing in shades of, of orange and reds. And then all of a sudden, uh, they see this, this, this ultraviolet blue blob. Um, and so I, I went a few days later and I bought the only UV killer that I could find and it was uh, Dead Down Wind. And that's what we use simply because it has the UV killer in it and it has a scent control in it. Now you can use whatever you want, but that's what we use is dead down wind. And immediately I started seeing the, uh, the results of doing away with the UVs in our clothes. Uh, I've, only time deer have seen me now is like when I'm moving or scratching and not being still, anything like that. So um, I highly recommend uh, to do that. And what I'm gonna do today is walk you through this process. Um, we're going to go in here to our washing machine. We're going to gather our clothes up and uh, go through uh, and go through this. So let's go get this done. Okay, so um, what we normally do, we're, we're here in our laundry room, y'all pardon the mess. What we normally do, obviously, we make sure we've got our laundry detergent uh, that we're going to use for hunting and we keep it specific. But before we get to the wash, very important, uh, if your wife has washed a load of clothes, or some of you ladies has washed clothes, what we usually do is we turn it on rinse and spin. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna rinse all of the residue of the old laundry detergent out. It takes about 15 minutes. Um, so just turn your washing machine on rinse or spin, and I, 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 I guess I'm a little more paranoid, I do it twice. I run two rinse only cycles, no detergent, no anything, just rinse the washing machine out to get all that residue out. Then we'll come back in, put our clothes in, and run them through a wash, okay? So we'll be back in just a minute.
right, so uh, we'd like to put our stuff outside so that way it doesn't, uh, we don't do it in the dryer. We like to put it outside, let the sun warm it, dry it that way. Seems to me like it's quicker. It actually gets real good and dry that way. Um, can we just put it out here? Things like gloves and thick, thick, um, thick stuff takes a little longer, so the sun is really good. It penetrates, permeates, gets into it, and uh, does what is what we need it to do. But remember now, the deer, they don't, uh, not so much about the camo as much as it is the UV. That's what you get in it. Get that UV washed out of there. We don't need, we don't need a nice, bright, good looking clothes. We just need some clothes that the deer can't see. And the deer cannot see the UV. So, uh, or they can see the UV and we want them to not see us. So get that UV washed out guys. Um, we're gonna get this put out, get everything done. Uh, I still got a few more clothes to do, but we'll get these dried out here. We'll get them taken up, store them ever how you do. I like to use a plastic container. Uh, I've got some uh, pine straw and some cedar in there. Also put some fr fresh earth wafers in it. Um, really works good for us uh, for our cover scent um, but today was more about the uv getting the uv out getting those odors out and uh, getting this stuff sealed up and remember it's important to get these things washed get them clean but if you don't know jesus as your savior savior it's also important to make sure that you get your 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 robe washed quite as clean and you can only do that in the blood of the lamb which is jesus christ our lord and savior thank y'all for watching Hit the, uh, the like and, or the subscribe button. It's totally free, doesn't cost anything. Uh, but hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell beside it, that way you'll get alerts. Share this with your friends. Um, and from all of us here at Faith River Outdoors, thank you for watching. God bless you, God bless America.